Yeah, I was able to hold my breath for four minutes using the Wim Hof method. So right now I am going to be teaching myself how to do a aerial. So I'm going to use, um, it's a different way of doing an aerial. The way of doing it is going from a butterfly kick into an aerial. This is from Plan Zero, so I've never been able to do an aerial, but hopefully today I'll be able to. So, let's see. So I'm going to start off with a butterfly kick. It says to go from butterfly kick, more vertical, and then maybe in the future when I, I get a little better, I'll try a gymnastic aerial, which is a little harder. <laughs> Rewatch the video and basically do the same thing but look down when you're doing it. So I'm gonna try that. I should have rewatched the video right away, but I actually didn't even get close to doing an aerial. I will just keep practicing. Back to the video. So I just wanted to let you guys know before I get into the next half that this part was actually the best looking, the closest to an aerial. So yeah, so I'll get to the next part. So I made a video about 10 months ago on me holding my breath in a bathtub. Um, so basically what's happened since then is I got busy with homework and school and I didn't make very many videos after that. I looked at the com some of the comments and um, this kid messaged me and he's like you should do a progression on how you can practice holding it longer and what works for you. To hold your breath longer building up to two minutes 37 seconds is actually very hard to do so I'm 16 right now two years ago um, when I was 14 I started practicing holding my breath and the first couple weeks like it gets really tiring because like you're not used to it you're not used to the lack of oxygen and I started practicing this because I started getting really competitive in swimming and that was my last year of swimming so um, I had at that point every night I would relax and then just suck in a bunch of air and then I would hold it and the first time I remember I ever did it was like 45 seconds not very long at all and then I worked up to like holding it for a minute what I did was I held it for a minute breathed for like five seconds did another minute and I would do that for like 10 minutes then I got bored of that because who wants to sit there for 10 minutes before you go to bed um so what I did instead was I just held my breath and went to bed and I did that for a couple months. I got to about a minute and six, 30 seconds. So there was one time where I was just like really hyper and I was like, I, I have to do this. So I was like, <sighs> so I held it and that was my first actual record. It was two minutes and it was two minutes and 15 seconds. After that, I kind of stopped holding my breath. And then recently um, when I made the video, a week before I started doing the, the same thing again and I was able to hold it for two minutes probably because I went through puberty so after that I was able to hold it much longer and then after the video from now this point it was 11 months ago I was able to hold my breath for um, two minutes and 15 seconds and then as of so I started using this method in January 11th if you can see the bottom January 11th, I was able to hold my breath for 3 minutes and 28 seconds. So as of January 11th, I started using this method called the Wim Hof method. So I used the method and the first time I was able to hold it for 3 minutes, as I showed you. Um, my lips turned purple, and but it's almost like your body's hypercharged. And the first part of it, you feel very lightheaded. Then the second part, you kind of feel normal. And then the third part, after like two minutes and 45 seconds, I started feeling that urge to start breathing. 
so I just held it for 45 more seconds, or however much longer. My brother's read the book, and I'm going to start reading the book. May 7th. So I did it again, and as of May 7th, and then we can check information. May 7th, 2018. I was able to hold it four minutes. It's only the start. So, yeah, I was able to hold my breath for four minutes using the Wim Hof method. And, um, yeah, so it's a very good method. You guys should consider doing it every night. But don't ever do it when you're in water, at least by yourself, because it makes you very lightheaded. And if you're lightheaded in water, you can only assume that you're probably going to faint. And if you faint in water, you're not going to be waking up. So yeah, um, that's how I'm able to hold my breath for four minutes now. I do it every night. I can usually hold, I mean, I haven't been super competitive. It's just getting my body used to, um, it's called the hypoxia. My next goal is five minutes. So I'll make a video on that when I get there. Oh, and if you want to see me actually holding my breath for four minutes, why not and just put... Let me get 10 likes and I'll, I'll hold my breath for four minutes on camera.